here to make some kitchery. We want to prepare healthy food because it's good for our digestive system. It's easy on the immune system. It actually boosts Im immunity. If you have a crock pot, this is what I like to use. Starting with the beans is important because they take the longest to cook. So here's our split yellow mung dal. And if you want to go to the website, you can get the recipe there. I'm going to walk us through all the stages of this, this meal. So we have uh, one full cup of mung beans here in the bottom of an empty crock pot. And let's add some cumin. It takes the gas out of the beans. We're going to use some natural salt. I like to use a pinch and um, it helps with the beans while they're soaking in the water and the rice too. We're going to use uh, a cup of organic basmati rice. And so I've put the rice and the beans in before we've added any water or anything with a little cumin and salt. Let's add the rest of the spices. This, this will all be contained in one mix. Um, turmeric. Um, there's a healthy amount of turmeric there. It's good for the joints and arthritis. Ginger, I like uh, a lot of ginger in, in my kitchen because it's, it's really warming for the digestive fire. Tastes great too. I like some heat in the food. And then some anise seeds. This gives it a nice slightly sweet flavor which is also good for the digestion. And a little coriander for flavor with some fenugreek. All right, now we're ready for some water. So since we've added one cup of beans and one cup of rice, we're going to add two cups of water for each one, so four cups of water total. So now we've got <clears throat> a cup of beans, cup of rice, all our herbs and spices are in here, and four cups of water. So this is already soaking as we begin to prepare the vegetables. Okay, so let's add some fresh garlic here. Garlic is another immune boosting food that's an herbal medicine. You're going to want to dice it up so the next ingredient that I like to add are the root vegetables um, because they also take a, a little extra longer to cook and um, we'll keep them submerged down in the in the water so the roots go right into the water with the rice and the beans we haven't even turned this thing on yet um, got a nice red beet here Oh, beautiful, beautiful red beet. And notice I'm, I'm putting the, the greens aside for later because we're going we're gonna to put all of the leafy vegetables on top since they take the least amount of time and, and energy to cook. So they'll get steamed on top. So look at how beautifully red this, this beet is here. So after you've got your beans and rice and water and spices, then we're just filling up the pot with vegetables. And, and so you want to get a good bite size cut here. So notice we went from the, the roots to the heartier vegetables, and now um, the zucchini is a softer vegetable that's going in towards the top. It's it's one of the last ingredients here besides our our greens, the leafy greens that we'll put on top. So this food is very alkalizing and that's important. Um, alkaline foods help balance acidity in our digestion. I mean we all have stomach acid to help us break foods down but if we eat too many processed and refined foods, sugars, uh, carbohydrates, 
it creates an acidic condition in our gut and and that can be inflammatory it can be inflammatory in our joints it can be inflammatory in our digestive tract and and this is how autoimmune disorders start a lot of them are initiated by an imbalance in the gut so we're going to reverse those effects and create healthy living so now I'm going to the the beet greens here and chopping up the, the stems put those in next these are still kind of hardy and the kohlrabi has some hardy stems on there too kohlrabi is a it's a relative of cabbage and broccoli and kale and so I like having that cruciferous vegetable in there from the brassicaceae family it's a mustard family food as medicine you guys so I'm cutting up these greens into manageable bite size chunks and then we're gonna add this in on top I mean we're gonna pack this thing full so the lid just barely fits on I love all these veggies and it it adds a lot to the kitchery too it's all these different textures and colors it's a full spectrum of vit vitamins and minerals it smells amazing it's so earthy it smells like it's straight from the garden which it is <laughs> but anywhere you get your vegetables is fine and as long as you're ingesting them that's even better because that's where the, me the medicine lies we're gonna plug this thing in and then we're gonna turn it on low okay so now we've got it on low and I like to start this thing right before I go to bed that way on a slow cook cycle I can sleep seven or eight hours and get up and this is cooked to perfection if you add enough water it will be perfect and you have food hot ready for breakfast lunch and dinner tomorrow and maybe even a few more meals throughout the week when you open the lid and it's and it's steaming and it's hot and you know you're gonna want to turn your crock pot off and stir it up mix all the vegetables in with the rice and the beans but avoid mixing it while it's cooking just let it cook it'll it'll be great remember we layered it beans rice root vegetables and then your regular vegetables and greens on top so it's gonna steam things and cook them in the right proportions ghee which is a clarified butter is also used for cleansing and so we're gonna use some ghee in this batch here mm. and I love adding the the fats at the end not to overcook things you could also use coconut oil um, olive oil what, whatever your your favorite natural raw oils are and and if you're using a raw oil it's great because you're still getting some of the enzymatic activity from that right at the end we're not cooking it the oils we're not frying them at all we're just adding them as a finishing touch if you use a coconut oil for example instead of a ghee it's a completely vegan meal and it's got complete proteins complete nutrition the right balance of carbohydrates and fats and it tastes great mm. Mm, mm, mm. so you can get this recipe from my website online click on the link below and it'll take you to my website where you can download the PDF I know some of you are thinking I can't do this or it takes too much time or I don't have all the right ingredients right well I'm gonna show you a solution in the next video